Do you want the last one then? And yes, number four. Is mental. So this is reading, visualising, planning and writing. So I suppose it's mental agility, I suppose it's referring yeah. to. Yeah, and that, as you came back into it, that's where I'm then kind of moving back into my comfort zone, albeit maybe I wasn't as far out of it with the other as my initial perception was. So well, we reference it here. I've got my, I have a plan for the month for certain things I want to achieve. I've got budget sheet we use for the month for things we're trying to do financially. Same within work. I kind of work in a world of like backlogs and short planning sessions and all that sort of jazz. So I think in terms of that planning piece, I think I do that like professionally and personally, short term and long term. And obviously, you know, long term plans are quite fuzzy. Short term are a lot more crystallised and clear. So I do a lot of that. Not so much reading, but I do the, you know, the positive social media stuff like we've, we've talked about before, Joe. So like LinkedIn and gravitate to things I like and keep, you know, Particularly at the moment, I'm quite into researching some of the stuff that's going on with like AI and this whole chat GPT thing and all of that. Mm. So I do, but it's like little bite-sized chunks of reading of things rather than like I'll sit down and read a whole book in an evening or something like that. So I think, and that's natural. I don't really have to try to do that. I've just made that part of my routine. Yeah, I relate to that because I, I get emails about stoicism and things like that. You know, I get emails, sometimes I post them and he goes, oh my God, Jose's posted a mess of great thing on the chat again. It's, it's spread to two messages. What's going on, right? But I tend to do that. So that's mine. Again, I love that as well as reading yeah. books. I love that. And I think, actually, I think you get quite a bit from that because you actually just, oh, we're going to share that. And while you share it, you start learning about it because you're sharing it. It's Absolutely quite a powerful right. thing. Um, or telling someone about it. Actually, Stephen Covey, in the seven habits talks about if you learn so you pass it on it's more you learn it better because you're trying to explain it to someone else which i think yeah. is a really really good thing so that's it really uh -huh.